I got energy. This one's going straight into... Straight into... In the dark. You're in the deep. I can see a thing. You can still hear that clunking sound, although it's much, much closer. You should be able to see. I can. Uh, yes, I can. Initiative? Are we. No! Okay. Just doing a wild tip. Foolish. Foolish! I just did it! Ah! Did, Did you what? just call me Torrin? Mm. <laughs> what is this curse? Apparently with our doxy around, everything falls to shit, which is not what I would have expected. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's not going to watch this, but you know that you got her. <laughs> Hate to see it. <laughs> All these Slowly. just looking rules for these statue creatures are about to all Moving forward. Pipes crisscross the ceiling. Uh, Some far larger than others. All oxidized green copper. Guys, what's this? Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps my assumption that the smooth stone statues were all on the other path was incorrect, she says with a slight smile. This is quite striking. Ancient by the looks of it. Yeah, the ceiling is quite tall, very boxy. Uh, there is decoration, but it's all faded to time. It's not like there are murals on the wall or anything, but there are just things. Things? There's decoration, but it's hard to tell what it was meant to be. Uh, aside from this here and that there, which almost look like small tables with a lot more decoration that connect to the walls, almost like water fountains. Um, this one here has a uh, orb on it. Uh, uh, metal. Which orb. one here, sorry? The one to your right. Sorry, you're not seeing the pings for some reason. Yeah, um, I don't know why. But... This one? Yeah. This oh. one here has a, you know, it's kind of got like a basin, and there is a, uh, a, an orb um, sitting within it. Oh God, it's not it's quite the perfect sphere or orb, it's more of a Amaris takes sort of a half step. orb, half cylinder, it's a weird shape. Amaryllis takes a step to here as moves slow, like even like for Amaryllis, she's still moving slowly, but it's clear she's very interested in all this, and it's she takes she seems to take interest in the orb, and then she gets to about there and pauses and is. There is something around the corner. Uh, head back. Well, are you being cute, or is that what we hear? Both. Both. <laughs> I imagine if it was aggressive, it would have attacked us by now. It is... We are not being that quiet. What you see, Amaryllis, from the, the darkness, is the vague shape of a, a, a small humanoid facing the other way. It's looking up, its hands are like working on this pipe that is almost the same height as it, but it's slightly raised off the ground. It does not seem to have interest in us, at least at the moment. It appears to be working on the Interior here. Maybe we should introduce ourselves. If it lives here, we don't want to intrude. There's a, a, a burst of steam from the pipe. Uh, and you see it kind of... Vust! And it fixes the hole. 
It just kind of. It knows mending. Powerful kobold indeed. And its its voice is very tinny, like it's trapped in a tiny room. I mean, which it kind of is, but you know, even so. Um, I'll step around Amaryllis to get a better look at it. We can give you a perception check. If you don't want to approach in the darkness. Ooh. Your first thought is it's a gnome. But that doesn't quite strike true. Um, it's missing quite a lot of gnomish features, but its its silhouette is quite gnome and gnomish, aside from the ears. Um... Moving the torch, you can quite clearly see that the creature is made of metal. Very rusted, very faded metal. Small segments of metal. Gears that twist and move and shift and change. A clockwork contraption in the shape of more or less a gnome. Uh, it's a little haunting, as a lot of its features seem to have worn away to time. It's almost like the skeleton of whatever it once was. And that makes it quite boxy. It doesn't seem like it was ever designed to look exactly like a person. Uh, it's got very boxy proportions and very clearly two segments of stone with um, slightly glowing uh, gnomish uh, signs, uh, symbols in them, in the middle of the hands. They basically make up the palm. It kind of has a. It, it kind of. It's kind of wearing a cloak as well. Uh, I'll really. I'll relay that to the two of them and curiously step. Oh, step a little bit more towards it. This. You speak, you speak this reminds me of the tales of old ruins below Dar. Mechanical beings within them, mechanical things. Mechanical? Yes. They run on gears and clockwork. Um, I will say, excuse me, in Nermish. It does noticeably pause what it's doing. And in continues. Step again and say hello. Something you definitely notice is that this segment of the wall to your right is an open doorway. Uh, like you can see the actual segments of the door open. Now they, again, they faded to time so much they probably could never move again. But it is noticeably where a, a, a door was slash is. Um... It still doesn't really seem to completely acknowledge your presence. Uh, I look back to the two of them and... Should we... Approach it? Aaron shrugs. Maybe it's... It's just... Cleaning? You hear a click. And it's, its head turns around first, then its torso, and then its legs kind of walk around. And it actually moves up and behind you. Uh, not that fast, right? I, it moved very fastly, but, but you would probably be like, uh, as it... And then you've left mud tracks and soil. And it kind of... And cleans using prestidigitation... Not that any of you other than Amaryllis would probably recognize the spell. Um, I'll follow it and be like, it's cleaning. It is following Richter in a circle from the mud he's made. <laughs> Careful, Richter, what if it decides you're, you need cleaning as well? I'll just like clank my spear on the ground a couple of times in response to that. It uh, noticeably pauses at the noise. And then continues. Um, <laughs> I will spit on the ground between my feet. That's it cleans disgusting. it. Um, can I put a hand on it? 
Yeah. It completely Does... freezes, and you can feel it kind of shaking and moving as the gears shift, and some of them like click in place. Some of them are clearly rusted too much to function. It's almost like holding a, a scared rabbit or something. This thing's this. Um, I'll pick it up. You see, uh, there are glass lenses where its eyes should be, uh, and behind them, something moves and shifts, and it. You almost think like there should be light coming out of them, but the light isn't working. But you can tell with the torchlight that it's it changes whatever lenses in one of the eyes. The other one doesn't seem to function. Uh, and you can hear metal footsteps deeper down the corridor. Well, now what if it summoned the guard one? The guard one? Well, if you're going to have a cleaner one, then you'd have a guard one or... Uh... Look, uh, I'm just saying, Torrens like he raises his shield and he backs up away from this this way. Maybe can I find can a way I, to deactivate wait, them? Can I can I put this in the basket that Amaryllis would have on her back? Yeah, I mean it, Amaryllis would have to drop the basket. It'd be too heavy for yeah. her to like. It's heavy for you to hold. It's made of Putting old thing metal. In a baby cage. But yeah, you can you can even put the basket upside down on it and really cage it if you wanted. I'm going. I'll, yeah, I'll do. Is that all right with? Yeah, the, no, that's 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 fine. I was, uh, can I can I put the basket there then, like at the okay. entrance? You imprison the <laughs> servant bot. <laughs> and can you please <laughs> roll initiative? It just wanted to clean. Yeah, but it could get destroyed in this fight. Oh, that's sweet of you. Okay, he so was doing we. it for love. So could we, you dipshit. <laughs> uh, I absolutely... It was inevitable that one of you was going to fuck with the cleaner. I did <laughs> click on myself, but it didn't work. Sure. You clicked I on the you torch. Clicked, you clicked on the torch, yeah, I was about to oh, say. Oh, piss. He's, got, he's, he's, he's he had trouble with for. touching himself, our Richter. Huh? <laughs> Never figured it out. Some of the boys talk about it. You don't get it. That's why he's so, like... Rubbing the snake, what does that mean? <laughs> I would never want to be so close to a snake. It could bite me. <laughs> so I went closer to the snake to admire it. Because I like snakes. I was like, oh, ah, okay. it's me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then he stabbed me. <laughs> Amaryllis, you actually get the first turn! Look at you! Yep. Um, like a proper person. <laughs> like a player. <laughs> Speaking of player, I should sit up and actually the screen. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm coming. I'm back. You've gone so deep. Amaryllis is just going to pull out... Um, is just going to pull out her bow, and I will um, pre prepare an action to attack anything acting aggressively towards us. <laughs> That's fake. Yeah, that but I mean, it is, it, it's like, like if, if the guard comes in and just sort of stands there, then I don't want to fire on it and sort of set it off, you know? The guard bot is much larger. It looks like it's designed to look like it has armor. Right. Um, there are some segments of chainmail on it, but a lot of them seem to have broken, and like one segment is like trapped in the mechanisms of its leg, so it like walks with a limp. Um, its armor platings are just as rusty. It actually has more sign of damage. Some of it seems like it's damaged by maybe an arm keg or something, right? And it has a spear in one hand, which it very flourishingly spins, moves to two hands, and immediately its head turns 45 degrees to Richter. Mm -hmm. But then you hear more movement. Oh god, there's a spider bot. Metal scurrying. There's a spider bot. I thought we'd seen enough not of a spider bot. Well, the legs are kind of sp like a spider. It's a metal this box. Box. 
sort of rounded with a tendril of rope that tails behind it that as soon as it turns and one of the lenses only has one kind of in the corner sees you that uh tendril sparks a light and the number it's three it's a appears on its faceplate I think that token has given us all PTSD from the last campaign. It's true. Metal spider bot. <laughs> Torin. Oh, God. That uh, number of elimination targets? I'm going to... Uh, Torin looks worried. Fireball. Fireball. <laughs> uh, desperately, he grasps the, that am Lightning amethyst bolt. around his neck. And the, the glow spills out, and he's going to uh, burn this boy. Uh huh. Eh, bleh, bleh. Uh, it fails, it takes that damage. Uh, the whole thing, like, uh, recedes backwards, but doesn't break. Not quite, okay. but it is now heavily damaged. The little sperm bots there, they got little pale. Rope tails. Richter. I'm gonna sit back. God damn, Neil! Come on, fight the power. All right. You need energy. Ah, <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'll step in front and. Hmm. Do, do, do these both have tethers? They both have the tendrils that have lit like wicks. And they're leading back into where they've come from. They're, they're not, not that long. long. All right. Okay. For some reason, I thought they were like attached to something that we couldn't. See. Okay. Um, they are the wicks to the bombs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they look like cartoonish bombs, but gnomish. God. Ancient gnomish. Oh God! Explosions. <laughs> yeah. How big are these? I already said this. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I wasn't listening to you. Uh, <laughs> hard to give you a direct uh, comparison, but no... A small dog, a medium dog? Two feet <laughs> tall. Okay. All right, all right. So slightly less, like one and a half foot sphere, than legs. Okay. And the, like, they're injured. Like one is missing a couple of the legs. The other is much rustier and... Like is sparking. Um, oh, I'll throw a hand axe at the furthest one. Please try. Wait, Ian's got create water. I used both of my spells. Ah, uh, how are you gonna talk to the animals? That's a ritual. Okay, that's a hit. <laughs> that's a hit. Roger that. The hand axe lodges in the front, and more sparking happens. Uh, this oh. grayish black powder kind of spills from it. Oh, God. And it kind of staggers, like... <laughs> trying to replace itself. Um, if you'll permit me, I would like to yell, we should leave. You can yell. Okay. Screaming is a free Denied. action. I will, I will yell, we should leave. In D and D, you can scream for free. <laughs> and that's the end of my turn. Amaryllis. I am going to fire a shot at the bomb that is closer. Uh huh. It's a hit. It takes that hit. Stops. Sparks, fuses, fire, lights, and it... Pfft, a very small explosion that hits the security bot more than anything. Uh, do I have a good explosion here? Little... Little, little, little boom? Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but it seems like it's small but very hot. Like, you straight up see a chunk of the security bot, like, melt up the, the side of the leg. But it doesn't react. Doesn't scream. Go, ah, oh, my leg! No. It is not a man. 
how it is a machine. This burns. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Pain simulation offline. <laughs> it's going to attack at Richter, but you can quite easily parry it. You can kind of see it like, <laughs> like it's slow. Um, Torrin! The uh, heavily damaged bomb bot <laughs> leaking uh, cannon powder it's walked up next to you and it doesn't attack you or anything it's literally just walked up as close as it can next to you and it's shaking and I it's, uh, a timer it. goes down to two with a noticeable click I reckon you it's one of those it. ticker timers it legit has a timer on it that I can see goes from okay. three to two okay. Uh, okay, right. Torrin's got this. Uh, Torrin's going to pick it up. He's going to drop his mace and he's going to pick it up. Yeah. And then he's going to wait for the ticker to go to one and yeet it. <laughs> okay. The ticker will go down next turn. So uh, you can just hug the bomb bot for now. <laughs> just yes, like, it's pleasantly the warm. Hit the bomb bot. Scritches for the bomb bot. You just need to, to disarm one and keep it forever. Uh, until it sacrifices it's itself to save you all. Tail. Oh, that yeah. would be such, so sad. Oh my god. Speaking of sad, Richter! It's your turn. Uh, well, I'm going to spear this bot. I don't know if it spears you first. Oh, no, no you hit. speared it first. <laughs> That's a really big hit. Like, you can feel the spear go through internal mechanisms and, like, get lodged in gears and things. And the whole thing, like, tries to turn its head but can't and, and lodges. But you do see, similar to the uh, cleaner bot, lenses shift in its eyes from uh, yellow to red. And uh, uh, you actually see a, a torch, a, a little candle flicker on inside its head, illuminating the red light onto your face as you've clearly Public enemy it. number one. It's gone from uh, arrest to annihilate. stop resisting. Lethal, lethal force authorized. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the end of my turn. I'm realist. Damn. If only Richter was... A thinker, not a fighter. I am. Um, I rely on you not being thinkers. Thanks. <laughs> I am firing at the um, guard bot. <clears throat> yeah, no, maybe not. I don't want to know what he's going to come up with for that. <laughs> the arrow flies wide and distant, hitting the pipe in the far uh, distance. Steam oh. fills the chamber, clouding sight and distracting all. Aside from Aurelis, who's nice and far away. <laughs> Get the security steam. bot. Is is also is actually is affected by the steam, so it does have disadvantage, but that's good. Because you uh, hear something click. You can almost feel the tension in the air as it releases multiple quick attacks. Unleashing. It's got a multi attack. Unleashing oh its overdrive. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, but after that, it won't be able to move. But it has disadvantage. It's cockwork. Uh, first attack misses, second attack misses. Third attack misses. Fourth attack misses. <laughs> you, so you, everyone should be thanking me for that that one now. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. One of them was a crit as well. Um, Torn, you can Thank you. just sort of see the timer go down from two to one. 
And now is your turn. So if you want to give me an athletics check to throw the thing. Yeet! Which direction? Just, uh, I mean, I was thinking down this way. Sure. Um, this is probably a Kobe, though, because I, I need the distance. It is. You're right. I, I'm not close <sighs> enough to alter fate, I'm afraid. I need to be within 10 feet. You saw you... times you... <sighs> it's really heavy, and it just... <sighs> rolls onto the ground. There. I don't even get it five feet. And it kind of manages to resurface itself. And then it comes back for more scritches. <laughs> oh, I can't kill Torrent. I can't kill Richter. Oh, Torrent's going to take his helmet off and put it on it. Yeah! <laughs> That's a great idea. Because <laughs> he can't. Richter doesn't know it's there. He can't just let it murder Richter. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a really good idea. I like it a lot. Um, Richter, you managed to just barely block this flurry of spear jabs. Um, block this. Mr. Robot. You have disadvantage. I do have dis my apologies. That's the disadvantage. How dare there. you? Block this, uh, Mr. Robot. That's a miss. He's not, no. a, he's not a robot. He's not even yeah. a cyborg, dude. Come on. It's a construct or a contraption. <laughs> uh, that's that. <laughs> Oh, fighter. Fight, fighters under level 5 are a bit like... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll go to lunch then. <laughs> I am firing at the guard ball. I have disadvantage firing into the fog, I presume. Yeah, well, this is going to go really well. I really want Cleanerbot to come up and, <sighs> and thwack you with his little hands. Slap Cleanerbot you, is thoroughly you. constrained. Uh, yep, I'm gonna stand here. Guard bot does not act on this turn. Torin, you plug your helmet down on the on the the <laughs> bomb bot. So <laughs> go down with the the ship. Oh god! There's a little boom. I can't create the little boom. Oh, I'm creating many booms. I didn't even notice that. That was very dramatic. Um. You are going to have to give me a deck save. I will allow it to be a strength or constitution save as well because you're plugging and holding the thing down. Uh, I, I, I mean, strength or con, either one. Uh, let's go first. Let's go first. Oh. Yeah, really good. You end up taking three fire damage from the explosion and nothing else. Your helmet completely destroyed. Helmet destroyed. Core part of Thorin's character. Gone. Literally on his token. Literally on his token. <laughs> the reason gone. you have a helmet, guys. Now he just has that awkward leather cap with the ears. <laughs> Looks weird on its, its little, own. Little padded Gamberson cap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's it. Gamberson. Um, but you did, you you uh, you protected Richter. Now it's your turn. He'll, he'll never know. He'll never know. Like, what oh. happened to your helmet? It's like, I, I lost it. <laughs> uh, presuming I can see it enough because it's got a little red. You light. can see it enough to get up to it. You still have uh, disadvantage, yeah, yeah. but it'll yeah. even out. Uh, well, te I would consider that my action, to be honest. Uh... Yeah, okay. That's fair. That really it was. Richter evens yeah. out difficulty with. Uh, that's it. I love yeah. the sassy look on this boy's face. <laughs> yeah, that's that's specifically a, a gnomish governor uh, construct. Uh, this would be a much more classic design. Gnomish uh, governor? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got me! <laughs> uh, Amaryllis. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna keep wasting arrows, I guess. <sighs> it's not a waste if you had fun. 
<laughs> that was a waste. <laughs> Rictor! It's like watching Ian play stars with a number again. <laughs> Range detect. Uh, I've got a better mod this time, but I still can't do anything. The uh, security bot manages to get a strike through Richter and is going to deal eight piercing damage with the spear. Oh my god, it, it penetrates. penetrates your armor. Um, may or may not be kidney damage, who knows. Um, Torrent. I'm going to clunk this boy around the back of his head. Please do. Clunk. Oh, I can I can hear my belly rumbling. That's not I a hit. I think I missed. Yeah, sadly. I wanted the Torin the kill steal. The, the but... kill steal, oh, yeah. Richter! Um, yeah, I think no, the missed. explosion did more damage to this thing than anyone else of the last <laughs> bot, but still. I'm going to try and swat its head with the blunt edge blunt side of my spear. Yeah, it's even. Yeah. You should have smashed through the glass lens. Put its also cool, out. that's a hit. Oh, piss. Do you want to know how much health it had left? Seven. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we all knew. Amaryllis! <laughs> Go on, kill steal with a disadvantage. You managed to clonk it around the top of the head and the head like twists multiple times. And oh then God, like, lurches like back towards it. That is a hit. Yeah. It makes a move towards Richter. Then an arrow from the steam. And it just kind of all stops. It doesn't even fall apart. It just, it, the arrow cl clearly gets into something critical. And the gears stop. And that ends up stopping it all enough that it... Cuckoo comes out of his chest. Cuckoo. And that's it. I almost like that idea. But it's still Legends material. Oh, a cuckoo clock comes out and it's just a dead bed. <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, at first when that's done, you're still paranoid. You can hear a rattling. But then you realise it's the basket. The uh, oh, the room still just... filled with steam gushing out of the mechanical pipes. He's just watched his only family and friends die. Amaryllis, that was a stroke of genius. Yeah, hitting the steam was... I mean, how did you know there was steam in the pipe? The flow reveals many things. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to roll insight on that, please. I do love that. That is very good. <laughs> like, Amaryllis replied weakly. Flow reveals <laughs> That's because I was trying not to laugh and fail <laughs> Um, I'll go back to me, me basket with me boy in it. Perhaps you should allow it to patch up the pipe again. Uh, uh, yeah, another good idea. I'll like scoop it up in the basket so I've got it like that. <laughs> and, like hold it to the pipe. Yeah, uh, it will cast Vending on the pipe. I'm going to see... I'm going to try and collect my arrows. Over here, of course. <laughs> oh, yes, thank Little you. boy. I would like to try and collect uh, How many arrows did you shoot? Five. Roll me a d6. Oh. What sort of... Um... Flows up, eh? <laughs> What sort of metal do these guys look? Are they? Because I know the. It's an assortment. There's a there's there's a degree of copper and also what probably looks like iron or steel as well, and then some other things. It, it is clearly an assortment. Um, you would think that things are made out of whatever's better for them. So the gears aren't copper. The gears are something else, something that's better for long lasting parts. Whereas the outer armor is mostly copper and and stuff like that. And there's also clearly parts that have rusted away to nothing and things like. Like I said, they're kind of a skeleton of what they might have been before. Um, this guard bot. Presumably, he will have components made of steel because he's designed to fight. Yeah, he definitely has a lot of more salt, like basically steel bones. Can right? I attempt to pull some of those out? Because my helmet is shot. Yeah, you could give me a um I mean it's it's I a survival. Need, yeah, I roll. just need the raw the raw metal. 
Ah, fuck that. Unfortunately, the, the best segments of it were melted by that explosion. Um, if you could carry this thing back to town, it'd be a wealth of resources, even though a lot of it's old and rusted. Yeah. Um, but the way is blocked. You have to crawl, and you can't pull this thing through the sand tunnel. That's true, yeah. But looking around, or, or this place, if it was allowed to be plundered, if you would want to plunder it, would be a lot of resources. I would like to examine, because you said there was an orb on the table uh -huh. I'm next to. Oh, yeah. I will initially not touch it until I think it's safe, but I am going to examine it. And... Please do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that an investigation roll? Yes. Oh, come on. It's very easy for you to tell someone who has dungeon delved, uh, mm. but it's a type of key. The, this has opened that door. You don't really want to touch it. It kind of looks like it's rusted in place. Um, maybe there was designs on it that have just faded completely. Right? Oh, this is very interesting. You hear that clunking again. It's not janitor bot, though. <laughs> it isn't. Well... The little janitor bot seemed to stop what it was doing when you spoke to it in Gnomish. Perhaps next time we meet one of these that he points to, like the guard bot. You could speak to Still it in like Gnomish. Status. Uh, okay, I'll try. Uh, I'll take Mr. Bot back over here. My concern would be that whatever is coming already thinks ill of us. Those ones seem to know when you picked up the cleaner one. I doubt they think, so it's probably got to be easy enough to fool it, right? That clunking noise almost seems to move around you in the ceiling again. On the contrary, it is often harder to fool one that does not think. But well, I guess what, you'd know. But whatever it is does not appear to be coming towards us quickly, she says, sort of looking up at the ceiling. <clears throat> this is a wealth of information if nothing else I would like to search the place as thoroughly as I can if you will agree to it well let's see whether we can't find anything useful for the village but right now anything we find we're not going to be able to take out because of the, the blockage <gasps> what if we take our little friend here and point him at the blockage. Perhaps he would clear it away gently, slowly, while we continue to explore. How long did how long did we walk from the blockage to here? It, roughly? Probably like five, ten minutes. Not long. Oh, yeah. Great idea then. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be slower yes. carrying a tiny robot, but Yes. He's in his if... little baby basket. We can hold half a, half the carry. You're still going to move slower yes. carrying a baby robot. But you can share the baby robot parenting. <laughs> How very cute. The tree's the... the... <laughs> I don't know where the tree would fit in. <laughs> I'm a robot and here's my two dads. <laughs> Oh, and that tree. <laughs> and the <a> tree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, got... let's do that. That clunking noise repeats overhead. I bet there's one of those little janitors just going through some vent. He's just permanently dusting. Yeah. He's just been dusting for a hundred years. A <laughs> hundred. All right, you want to you want to explore? Feel free to explore. So we, we've dropped off baby boy. Yeah, he's, he's back. Not the payload, just up there. 
yeah. come back for him. You oh, would okay. notice that this is like the most animated and invested in something that you have probably seen Amaryllis appear. She's still not very look still doesn't look very invested or animated, but it's more so than usual. I'll stay here. Uh, what if we run into more of those things? <sighs> it's probably not a good idea to let Amaryllis go off alone. Well, I thought you were going with her. You were. Well, yeah. I mean, even... Look, my point is, she's not exactly... This Amaryllis is clearly a blacksmith. <gasps> we're going to be kidding out in artifice and gnomish... The forge <laughs> is long dead. The slag has rendered anything here completely unusable. That's a technical Dean, term, Dean. Why did you render it unusable? Uh, <laughs> Dean's a slag. Um, <laughs> there is another uh, cleaner bot here uh, working away. Uh, you would catch it literally moving things from one side of the room to the other uh over and over the benches here actually have things on them tools uh some of them still in good repair whatever is made of really good material some of it completely useless there's definitely salvageable things it seems this way another cave-in if you like uh, even an even worse cave-in than the one that blocked your way beforehand but this might go to a further segment of... I mean, this looks like a settlement. A, a gnomish fort. Very old. Very different type of gnomes from the ones you met as well. Um, but this is clearly a forge. There are... Uh, there's a pile of, of more unprocessed ore that's almost been reclaimed back into the wall as water has dripped down and stone has formed. Uh, and uh, there does appear to be a, a small amount of you know, copper ingots and things. Um... Which actually, uh, when you would pick them up, you think they probably be quite a lot of value to the gnomes because they do have a, a like a tradesman's mark on them, mm. uh, which you would know has means that this has more value to people who know what that means. Oh, Amaryllis would, is. yeah, Amaryllis would definitely point that out to Torin, as assuming he's following her to some extent. <coughs> it also seems this way. Sorry, no one can see that. Uh, this way also, if the path were to be cleared, could go deeper. Um, you hear that clunking noise rattling uh, overhead as you pass the pipes. Now, this might seem totally crazy to you guys, but can you imagine if we cleared this, all of it, and it was safe? I mean, the entire village could take shelter in here. It's warmer than out there. If the dragon comes back, she'll think we left the village entirely alone. We abandoned it. Uh, and as for growing food, we'd, we'd be in the caves where we need to be. Probably safer than, um, than the surface right now. I mean, I'm not saying forever, but it, it could save lives. The door here, Amaryllis, has intact artwork. Um, faded, but intact. Uh, it resembles... Do you, do you speak Gnomish? No. There's, defi there's clearly Gnomish signs and Gnomish symbolism that you don't understand. I would... Um, I would call out... Richter... I believe you speak the language of the gnomes. Yes. Could you examine this door? There appears to be words upon it. Uh, of course. Uh, Torin, I did hear what you said. Uh, we'll discuss that shortly. Gotcha. Uh... The door comprises within the artwork the gnomish sign for safe drinking water uh, similar to dwarvish some concepts have one symbol um, and that's an important one um, is this here a water trough yeah uh, it's 
clearly heavily worn, like something grew in it during at some point during the ruins, and that died. So it's kind of just like mulched. Ugh. Uh, but it wa- would have been a water trough. Um. So I'll relay that it says or symbolizes clean drinking water to the other two. Amaryllis looks slowly at the trough and says, Not so safe anymore, perhaps. There may be more inside, though. If we can open it. If we dealt with the problem in there, you could deal with the problem elsewhere. Uh, This pedestal here looks like it requires a key, yeah? Yeah, it's just identical to the other one, aside from uh, the stone was at some point painted blue. Uh, but there is no uh, orb in the basin. And the orb of the other basin was a different colour. Yeah, mm. that was kind of reddish on okay. the paint. Like doom, red key, blue key, green key. Yeah. Can I start searching round like piles of rubble and such like just yeah please check. give me an investigation check I'll go and return to the center of the room oh come on you look around at your own speed through the piles of rubble and strange knickknacks and, and things that have been left behind occasionally you know, gears from the, these contraptions that have left them uh, at some point in one of the, the caved in walls you can stare up see an arm of one of the servants Stone skeletized, uh, metal skeletized. Uh, trying to concentrate the clunking noise of the pipes above, especially when you were in the, the rubble, is more and more frustrating. But you do notice it is perfectly the same every time. Mm. So it's more like so it's more likely to be a piece of machinery still working than a bot moving. Although I don't would Amorous know enough to be able to make I think that you could move? assume yeah. something like that. Yeah. Isn't it not like you would know exactly how it works, but Yeah. Amaryllis, what are you looking for? The door heading the other direction I would suggest is open because of the red orb on the pedestal I'll this walk pedestal... over and take it off as she says that it's very difficult to take off but given you have the, the value of time you can lurch it uh, you see this doorway like shift but it can't close anymore it's clearly trying to but it's just been so worn I'll place it back on for now yeah, that stops all the gears and things moving and the pipes shifting and things. You can even see when you move the door, there is an exhale of steam from somewhere in the wall. It's almost like a tiny vent you didn't quite notice. The pedestal here is blue. I would hypothesize that a blue orb similar to that one you just held would open this door. I see. Sound clunks overhead. This is all beyond my intelligence. What is overhead? Is there like a vent? There are. Uh, so there's. It would have been flat ceilings, stalagmites, stalactites, whichever one is appropriate. Stalactites. Uh, occasionally, the root of a very hardy cave cave plant, but mostly pipes. Those pipes are higher. I see. A side, they clearly loop down at some point. You know, this segment was lower than the rest. But usually they're quite high up. Um, I mean, you guys... <laughs> uh, by high ceilings, it's like high for a gnome. Uh, so Amaryllis probably has to duck her head under, like, this pipe here. Okay. Um, and, and the clunking you describe, is it the clunking of something passing through a pipe repeatedly could be what if the orb ended up in one of these pipes if we get our little friend over there we could pop a hole in it let whatever it is drop out and seal it back up 
Does it? Does the sound sound like it's coming from a pipe, or does it sound like it's coming from? When above you the stop pipes? and listen for it to come around again, it does sound like it's in the pipes. It's clearly a loop of steam. At the very least, there does seem to be something stuck in the pipes. Yes, whether it is the key is another matter. But it is worth trying. Okay. Um. Else. Is there any particular pipe you would like me to? Well, let's all stop and listen, and we'll find the area of pipe that makes a noise that's lowest down, so that we can clobber it properly and get our little friend to fix it properly. The lowest one would definitely be the segment you found your little friend at. The amber is actually right. did pierce, but not enough to open it properly. Okay. So it will fill the chamber with steam if you open it, of course. Yep. But so um Give me an athletics check, break it open. Both of you can, you lads. Nice. This is when you need a crowbar. Um Yeah, I know. You can just I, I like the idea of like uh you're both working on it and then Richter taking Torrens mace and just clobbering a section. And uh, breaking open essentially a panel, uh, hitting a particularly rusted part. Um, you can hear because it's too out of your vision. The uh, this servant bot. About to fly on smack someone in the face. <laughs> yeah, you. A few moments later, as the area fills with steam, there's a and the orb sucked out, uh, <laughs> nearly hitting both of you in the face. You're like, oh, as the noise comes closer, it is, and then. And then Pinks across the walls a few times before settling down a blue <coughs> painted metal orb. Torin, Torin gives a little cheer and a prayer of thanks to Eric. Definitely. Uh, well, steam! Yeah, right. Good. The place is all under his protection. An excellent observation, young Torin, says Amaryllis as she goes across and picks up the orb and moves towards the other. He adjusts the, the sort of panel <coughs> cap and says, <laughs> thanks. Do either of you want to investigate this room with me? She hasn't put the orb on the pedestal yet. Yes, of course. Uh, we obviously better. hold up Bot Boy so he can... Yeah, you clean it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I place the orb on the pedestal. There's a groaning and creaking and gushing of steam and moving of pistons. That door opens. <laughs> oh. There's definitely going to be a big bad in here, like a shit demon or something. <laughs> <laughs> Clean drinking water. Whoops! I meant <laughs> shit demon. <laughs> the symbols are very similar. <laughs> Down here, it seems to oh, be a no. natural cavern that's been connected by the gnomes with a <gasps> clear pool of clear <gasps> water <gasps> with cave fish. Uh, and... Um, just a little bit of, you know, lichen on the walls and things like that. Uh, looking around, you do see almost a uh, provenance. A single black squid in the clear pool of pale, pallid cave fish and crabs and things like that. It looks like this probably connects to a deeper uh, aquifer or something. Um but it is, you know, to Torin especially, you know, that is a spiritual moment. You see it, like, long body flow through the clear water. There it is. Look. A black squid. Uh, Amaryllis, can you, uh, can you commune with it? And I think, considering uh, the time, uh, I think it's appropriate, you know, to say that Amaryllis does cast this spell does commune with it 
It and takes 10 minutes to cast it, though. Does, uh, it does. Exactly, we've got to speed through it. And does come to enough of a rapport that your quest is a success. You can hey, yo, install it. Hey, yo, what up? Got some Nothing new digs much. for you. Um, That's just what squids sound like. <laughs> That's just the voice of squids. It's, yeah. It agreed to help, but it was like, it points at Tar, it points at Richter, and it's like, I want that one's face, though. <laughs> It was a deal. It was a deal. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, mini adventure. I was, I'm, I I'm quite that proud cool. of that one. Yeah. Even doing it without Doxy, which gave me a bit more challenge, but uh, uh, that's fine. I um, enjoyed that. I like who knows what the fuck we're gonna do next week? Jeez, no clue. We're gonna have a mass exodus. Uh, to gnome with gnome land with fresh water. It's true. Um, it's difficult for me to resist. Uh, but do you know what? you got to resist. But what you can do is tell me uh, a little bit about you, uh, Neil. Right now. Right now. Right now. Here's your chance. Right, right now? Oh, oh, okay. Right. Right now. Um, hey. I would I'm... prefer it if you were on the camera when you did it. <laughs> or at Naghai. Or at Naghai underscore if you look on Twitter while well, I'm not burping on camera. I own Ian. Uh, he resents the fact, um, uh, and he doesn't like admitting I'm right because of it. But I, I do, um, and that's that. That is the fact. I, I in fact, I possibly know more than. than <laughs> no, I'm not going to trump it up. You can find me here on Wednesdays, or on twitch.tv forward slash Dalerick on Wednesdays earlier, at like half one. What are we on now? GMT? GMT. We are on GMT. Um, you know, this might have been the best dungeon crawl, perhaps, <laughs> ever we've ever had. You know, I have great puzzles, great at puzzles. I picked up the hints immediately. <laughs> Everybody says, you've gone into a dungeon, that's the guy you want. They mean me. Nobody knows more about dungeons than him. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, that's, uh, that's good. Um, yeah, so you, you can find me there for a Kingmaker Pathfinder game. I'm a king. There's too much stress. I've heard about <laughs> war crimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, whereas you're a very good boy in this game. Uh, yeah, I, probably I what, probably your good most boy. good boy. Probably my most good boy. Uh, I, speaking I of, so. Daniel Cuddy. Hi. I'm not a good boy. Yeah, you I'm are. a mother... I'm a... Good boy. Good, 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 good boy. Um, go to Mathis Games because that's where I do the majority of my work now. Uh, I released a new video and no one watched it, so I took it <laughs> off and put it on my other channel because I may as well put it somewhere. Uh, that's it. Amaryllis. He's going through his artist phase. Yeah. <laughs> Every artist goes through a quarter-life crisis. We don't know what we're doing. At all. At fucking tall. Source. <laughs> Tumbling into despair. Um, I'm Ian, aka Arvine, aka Amarillis, aka Sukaya, aka... I could list many names. Yuna, um, Caitlin, uh, yeah. Arvine, obviously. Yeah. Many, many names. Sorry, um, Marina. Yeah, I am. You got a dub two for one there. Yeah, I, I got just so many characters, so many characters. Um, I have played a lot of D and D in Yavascir, and um, I not as much as Neil, but <laughs> like, yeah, Nearly. he knows more than me about Nearly. um about Yav, but Nearly. <laughs> um, if you have questions about Yav or about like anime and stuff because I'm into that stuff because I'm a massive weeb um, or if yeah if you want to hear more of um, me and Neil at least and Ollie then um, subscribe to Ollie's Patreon for five dollars a month and you get the access to the Monday game where we are currently playing a, a couple of characters at an adventurer's school which means it's very it's very low stakes, but a if lot of fun. If you want to learn about your lore, yeah, it's there's very literal, good. Go to class. Yeah. Literal we, lessons. Discussion on the ages of Yavaskir. 
Yeah, which is and legitimately like, interesting law. I remember the first time I learned that. Learned yeah, that, and I was like, hmm, learned that. <laughs> and there was a whole thing about the school's oh, failures of magic. Check. Yeah, it's a, it's it's really good and it's really fun. And I play it utter dipshit in it. It's great fun. <laughs> Speaking of another dipshit, it's me! Uh, there are two slash three D&D games. There's also Narrow Shore Nights on Sundays. Uh, this game, we going to continue. Um, I liked this session a lot. I think it was, a, you know, the best session, perhaps, ever. Um, but... Uh, not every session can be this good. I can't wait for next week where it will inevitably be shit. Um, <laughs> I am working on a bunch of things. Uh, I'm working on a game in my free time. Uh, so you can get a little more, more information about that on Patreon and come sometimes and talk about it. Mostly at the moment I'm streaming, we're doing Planet Zoo. It's great. It's really, it's, it's a back to the chill games. It was uh, nice chill super night. chill. Uh, we'll be playing some of that Thursday, Friday not Saturday this week um, and that's that um, thank you all for hanging out and supporting us everything will be everywhere and we will see you next time maybe I don't know <laughs> if you decide to tune in I'm not your you keeper. hold the power now summoner <laughs>